Good morning, I'm Mary Ellen from the channel Mary Ellen After 60, and today I'm going to give you an update on a, a product. I am going to share with you what's been important to me recently. I'm uh, going to update you on Jim and his surgery. Just share some information. We've had some loss in our beauty community on here on YouTube, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. I am not wearing any makeup. I have my trusty Je ne sais quoi lip gloss on and mascara and navy eyeliner in the upper water line. In my last video, I talked about the Revitalash Volume Enhancing Foam. I finished this bottle. It lasted 138 days exactly because I didn't miss a day. I put it right here. I put it right here. And as I shared last video, I saw new growth. My hair is thicker in that area. Well, I mentioned that I had ordered, and I, I bought all these products, the Grande Hair Enhancing Serum. And on January 1st, I, yeah, January 1st, I started using this. And what I do is I put one drop on this area right here. So I don't know how it's doing. I, I'm gonna give it three months to see, but I think it's working, but I'm not positive. So I have my new bottle that's dated the 30th. It should be dated the 31st because I didn't start this till the 31st. And so now what I'm doing, I'm doing this area and right down the middle. And then over here is the uh, Grande hair. So I'm gonna see which one is, actually, if it's worth it. I'm hoping that I can use one of these products every other day to keep my hair thicker. And I, I cannot see through my hair at all in my bathroom that has a mirror right in front of me, a light above my head, and then all windows in the back. I cannot see through the top of my hair. So that was new. That happened in the last six months. I hadn't had that. I hadn't been able to see through my hair in years, but I hope I've nip, nipped it in the bud. And I will tell you what has been most important to me. I planned on coming back and talking about makeup. I will. There's some products I really like that I'm going to share with you, but I'm just not ready to yet. I'm just, I'm just not ready to. But what has been important is staying warm. Old, good leather gloves that are lined have been so important to me. In 2014, I started taking two medications. One of them was Coumadin, and that's a blood thinner, and one of them was Sotalol. I don't know what, which drug did it, I, I, and I still really don't know, but I started taking that in August, and when winter weather came around, my feet and my hands were so cold. I had to, I had to find some shoes that kept my feet warm all day long. So I ordered these. These are, uh, I wear a size 10. These are Uggs, and I'm not kidding you, they were magical for me. My feet were warm all the time. So I ordered these, and then I ordered these. And these are also eight years old. And I wear these around the house. And these were what I wear outside. And I had purchased all these kind that are supposed to be as good, but I'll tell you, they're not near as good. And I have been suffering with cold feet again this winter. So for my birthday, Jim ordered me a pair of Ugg house shoes from Nordstrom, and I'll put a picture of them up here. They were not comfortable at all. In fact, even though they were really, really warm, I didn't look forward to putting them on. I, I, so I did send those back, and that's what's nice about Nordstrom. It's free shipping to you, and it's free shipping back, and I ordered these, and I love them. They have the strap, you don't have to use it. You can move it up, you can move it down, but they're all shearling and they are very, very warm and I really like them. And when I ordered my house shoes, I saw that they had these on sale and these are also the Ugg and they're 100% shearling. These are suede and I know they're gonna last. Those others that I showed you, they're eight years old. So. I got these and, and I've got to show you something and I'll tell you who made me think of it. I've had these for, I'm not kidding you, 25 years. One of them rotted and a couple of years ago, I ordered some new ones from Amazon. And when I got my first one, it was probably 25 years ago and I ordered them from QVC. And in fact, I still have the box right here. They were called Get a Grip. 
and on the inside I still have, it has like little replacement, it has little replacement discs that you can replace, but I never needed to, they were that good. Here was the original. And I'm thinking they were like $30 at the time. Well, I went to Amazon and I found these and, and I heard Tamara mention them and I will link her channel below. These are cleats, like cleats that you can just put on the bottom of your shoe. So if you're going outside, they just slip right on. They slip right on and they slip right off. And I have never been afraid of ice since I've gotten these. These are my ice scrippers. And I had a fall one time, well, right before I bought those. Right That's, and I never went in the ice without these. And I think they're now, I can't remember. I'll put it, the amount of the screen. But anybody that has ice, um, these are very, I, I really recommend them. And even though I used them all the time, it was Tamara that made me think about sharing that with all of you. You can buy Ugg shoes a lot of different places. I would say half of mine I ordered from Nordstrom and half of them I either got from Zappos or one of those other places, but you can find them on sale. And to me, I'd rather buy, like my gloves, I don't have any idea how long they are, but I wanna buy something once and take good care of it. And I have a feeling all my Uggs are gonna last me a long, 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 long time. We've had snow and I don't have any problem walking in snow, but I bought these boots uh, two years ago and they're by Tote. I don't know if they have them on Amazon anymore, but they are excellent and they just zip up. They have plenty of room and I've been enjoying those too. Like today, we're gonna have a lot of rain and if I go someplace, I'm just gonna put them on so they're waterproof and they make me happy <laughs> because I don't wanna have wet feet. This is the unhide throw that made me want to buy my big blanket and I think you can find something similar to this a lot of different places, but I love it. You wash it, you dry it, and, and it's fluffy and it's good. But I have been absolutely loving my big, heavy, unhide blanket. And I told you I bought three of them for gifts for Christmas. And oh my gosh, they are so impressed with them. They love them as much as I do. This is probably the most luxurious item I own. And even if it's not cold enough to use it, I always have it next to my bed, so, cause I touch it. I mean, I, I'm somebody who really appreciates the feel of something and it just feels wonderful. And it's really been cold. To update you on gym surgery, yesterday, which I think today's the 16th on the 15th, he heard from the hospital we do have his surgery scheduled. There's quite a few appointments he has to have before surgery, and it's gonna be in a little while, but he doesn't want me to talk about it until it's over, and I respect that. I'll let you all know when it's over, and I'm gonna show you something. And this is how you can kind of keep up if you want to, to see what's going on. I figured out where the community tab is. Anyway, I'll put this in, I'll put some information in here. When I open up YouTube, this is the home page. It's not the page that I have my subscriptions. Probably about a year ago, I unclicked the bell to everybody that I watch because people would show up in my uh, subscription feed and it cleaned out my email because every time somebody I was subscribed to uploaded a video. So if you notice, I never ask you to ring the bell because uh, I don't ring the bell, but anyway, I'm just going to use my channel as a for instance. If I go up into the search bar and I type in Mary Ellen after 60, it should bring you to what is called my channel page. And it will do that in just a moment. <laughs> I'm sure it will. Um, there it is. So I click on my name right there and this is my channel page. Oh, first thing you can do is click on to see what video, if that's the last video that you remember seeing, it goes all the way from the most recent to the oldest video I have ever done. And right there you can you can change it and go back and, and go from the oldest to the newest. And, and so there is the community tab. So if you wanna know if I put something up in the community tab, you can look right there and you can see that a couple of weeks ago, I posted what was going on. 
Some people see it, and so I don't know how people see it. If I haven't seen an upload from somebody for a while, I will go to their channel page and see if I just missed it or, or not. Here's something that I think is really kind of helpful. A lot of times you hear somebody speak about a product and you can't remember the video that they talked about it. Well, if it's something that isn't like, if, I, if you put IT Cosmetics in mine and search for it, no telling what all you'd find. But something like Function of Beauty. I typed in Function of Beauty and only two videos came up. The one right there. Those two videos are the only two videos that I had mentioned Function of Beauty. I use that feature so much because sometimes I'm thinking, well, so-and-so mentioned this and I'll just go to their channel page and I'll type in something in that little search area and it'll tell me if it was them or not. Also, what I wanna do really quickly is recommend a channel. And I have been watching this young woman for some, some time, and her name is Joan. And I tell you, she has very simple, delicious meals. And one of them that I just made recently, I'm gonna link it below, but her videos are short, they're excellent, and all her recipes are easy. And there's something that if, if you're watching your carbs, you can you know substitute something else but I have really been impressed with her. She does not know who I am. She wouldn't know if you said Mary Ellen said hi, <laughs> she wouldn't know who Mary Ellen is. I just think she deserves a lot more views and subscribers and she does excellent, concise videos. So I don't think you would be sorry at all if you went and watched her videos. Okay, on my health, I'm scheduled like March 21st to, to do the allergy test for nickel in case I'm gonna have a watchman or an amulet device implanted. And so I won't know anything till late March if my allergy is strong enough that I can't have that done. But I did order something for myself that I really like. I thought I'm gonna try 10 karat gold. So I found a necklace that is excellent. I've, I've worn it every day since I've gotten it. It's adjustable. It has a little ball, and there's a lot of people that have adjustable chains, but what made me happy is I can wear the 10 carat, and it does not break me out. I'm just so highly allergic to some metal that's in jewelry, and we'll find out what it is, uh, that I was really happy to do that. So this is, I guess, another little thing that um, that's made me happy. But you just go, I can just do it from any position. You just find You just find the little hook, and you just go like that, and you put it around the back, and... I can have almost a choker. And something else that's made me happy, Built Bar has their Built Puffs as a permanent part of their line. And this is the churro. It's cinnamon and marshmallow and chocolate, and they're really delicious. I also ordered the banana cream uh, puffs, and they were wonderful. And so I'm really happy that they're keeping them in the rotation. I still like the original Built Bars, but I eat these more as a treat. And a lot of times the other ones are more as a meal replacement or in between meals. But but this to me is like a candy bar. So I, I really like that. And I still have 10% off. But once you order, you'll get emails when they have sales and it'll be more of a percentage off. So anyway, I wanted to share that with you. On some sadder news, we've had some loss in our in our beauty community. On, I think, February 1st, Susie Clancy passed away. I had the honor of meet, meeting Susie, uh, and I'll put a picture of us together. When I went up to see Natalie in Canada, and uh, we got to go have lunch together with Susie, and she was Natalie's very best friend. And I'm going to put a link to a video that Natalie did talking about Susie and she, she showed, you know, she put some footage in and it was wonderful. And she was just such a precious, hilarious, outspoken, sassy woman. And uh, it, it's a big loss to us. On the 28th of January, my friend Maureen lost her 56 year old husband. He died from complications of surgery Prior to that, we I got word from Carol Bear, and she spells her last name B-A-H-R. She was on so many of our channels. She passed away. Her granddaughter sent me an email, and I really appreciated that. And Mary Allen, A-L-L-E-N, she passed away. So there's, we've had some loss. 
Mary commented on, well, Carol did too. They supported the beauty community so much, and so does Maureen. But and anyway, it just I just wanted to share that with you. I don't know when I'm going to upload again. I just haven't been wearing as much makeup, even though there's some things I'm really... There's two foundations that I love, and uh, yeah. But anyway, I, I'm going to wait till I can get excited about makeup, and I think that's going to be when everything calms down. But it is all good. I appreciate you. I appreciate your prayers, your notes, your comments on my old videos. Uh, you guys have kept me a little bit relevant on YouTube so they don't uh, forget me. And, uh, and I will see you in my next video. Take care. So for ordered from Amazon, no, I haven't. And when the, and I had tried usually, well, not, but I will. I just need to get um, every.